Good morning, I'm Elizabeth Campbell. Here are today's top stories. President Barack Obama is planning to make the majority of Alaska's National Wildlife Refuge into a protected wilderness area. Around 7 million acres are already protected. Obama's plan would set aside around 12 million acres more. If Congress agrees, it will be the largest amount of land set aside since the passage of the Wilderness Act. However, the plan received criticism from those who want to use the land to drill for oil. Some believe this move would be harmful to Alaska's economy, which relies heavily on exporting oil. The Secret Service is interviewing a person of interest related to the drone that crashed on the White House lawn early this morning. The drone was described as a two-foot-wide quadcopter. An officer at the White House spotted the drone as it flew over the grounds at a low altitude. A Secret Service spokesman said he believed the device was recreational. Flying drones in D.C. is illegal, however, the law is not always strictly enforced. A Secret Service official said that the owner of the drone called in after seeing the device on the news this morning. However, it is unclear if the owner is the same as the person of interest. The hunt is on for masked man Jihadi John. John is infamous for beheading prisoners in ISIS videos. He most recently appeared in a video with two Japanese hostages. He is demanding $200 million as ransom. U.S. officials have said they believe they know who Jihadi John is, but have yet to disclose his information publicly. The Egyptian Museum is facing backlash today over one of its most famous pieces. The King Tut funeral mask suffered permanent damage when the drooping blue beard that adorns the mask was somehow knocked off. The specifics of how this happened are still unclear. However, the mask remains on display after a museum worker glued the beard back on. Unfortunately, the glue the worker used damaged the mask even further. To make matters worse, another worker attempted to scrape off the glue, scraping the mask in the process. The mask now has a permanent gap between the face and the beard that workers filled with the yellow material. The New England Patriots are in the spotlight again, however not for their Sunday win over the Colts. The NFL announced today that it found 11 of the Patriots' 12 game balls underinflated and are currently investigating the team. According to the NFL, the balls were underinflated by 2 pounds per square inch. The hashtag DeflateGate is trending on Twitter as fans react to the news. The Patriots will be back in action in the Super Bowl February 1st to play the Seattle Seahawks. The Super Bowl isn't the only big game this weekend. Animal Planet is gearing up for their 11th annual Puppy Bowl. This adorable showdown pits rescue puppies of all breeds against each other as they fight to get their squeaky toy in the end zone. The puppies aren't left to their own devices, however. A referee oversees the puppies to make sure there's no cheating, such as illegal napping or illegal bathing. All puppy players are up for adoption. Audiences can tune into Animal Planet Sunday at 3 p.m. to catch the action. Those are today's top stories. Thank you for joining me. I'm Elizabeth Campbell, and I'll see you tomorrow.